Hello and welcome to Train Sim TV. In today's video, we're taking a look at the newly released Northern Lines Electric version 2. This came out on Saturday just gone, which was the 9th, I believe. Um, and it is available to download. Links in the description below. And in this video, we're going to be driving a new scenario that actually doesn't come with the route. It uh, will be a separate download. I'll link that as well. Uh, this is to Bravo 73, Blackburn to Blackpool North with the pinnacle of rail travel in the northwest back in the these times. The 142. Um, so let's get inside and let's get looking. So you find yourself sat at PN485 just outside of Bamba Bridge Station. The signal is currently on red due to a failure with the level crossing. However, the engineers were in the local area and managed to make it over to the site rather quick to investigate the problem. We're currently waiting the all clear to proceed to Blackpool North. Check F1 for further details. Okay, let's do that. So let's, let's key in. No, neutral actually. Let's get all these lights on. Right. So GSMR 2B7345. Taking a run through the full route on this video, by the way. Uh, the only bit we won't be driving down is the dock branch. So yeah, the uh, the Rux, uh basically came out Saturday with a full revamp to the existing uh, route. Just get this going. It also comes with a little extension out to Bama Bridge, which is a couple more miles off the um, basically from the West Coast Main Line. And it comes with all new bits of custom assets and stuff as well. But yeah, the route, the main route has been fully revamped. It's it's like a new route. Track changes all the way through, so it now uses newer JT track. Foliage comes in terms of the form of like West Coast Mountain South and stuff like that. The newer trees that they use. So it will work with AP train enhancement pack if you uh, are that way inclined to using. Depends on what you prefer. Uh, yeah, station wise at new are uh, Baba Bridge and Lostock Hall from the West Coast Main Line, heading towards Blackburn on the East, Lanc uh, East Lancashire Line, it's, it's known as. Well, one well, of sort of the main things in the air is the signal box. Now, when you look at the signal box, you're thinking, what on earth is that monstrosity uh, around it? But actually, to be fair, it's, it's needed. Um, this is basically making sure this box doesn't fall over, basically. Um, it was subsiding towards the track, so they, they built this steel structure to stop it from leaning while they can make appropriate repairs uh, to the structure. don't think it's got long left in general, but I think there's a few years left in it uh, before they actually do come to obviously decommission or whatever they do with it, whether they take it down. I presume they may take it down if it's obviously got structural issues. But, um, yeah, Bamber Bridge Station level crossing spring. Extension wise is about three to four ish miles. It's not it's not far, it's just something new to have a look at. It does take a good forty minutes now to do the route end to end. Bounce factor at three. I did this on four when I tested it and it was very bouncy. <laughs> so I'm going to put it on three just so I don't give myself a seat sickness or motion sickness. So I'll say. The work has been undertaken by uh, a collaboration of people. So there's myself that's done half of the seat, well, about half of the scenery revamp. Um, and Jack Hales did the other half. Um, Jack's also done some custom assets to the um, enhanced areas such as station signage, um, the swing bridge at um, Preston Docks, and also um, some work on the Preston Station um, model for ATS. Does some fancy scripting and he did some new base platforms for that. Just to make it look great and 
bit of the track. I'll show you pressed up so when we get there. Also, um, big thanks go out to uh, Alexander Rosson, who is known as Concarcher. He, to be fair, he's the one that sort of got the ball rolling with this update because he, he presented us with updated OH League down the Blackpool line about two years ago almost. Might have been about two years, to be fair. Um, basically, revamping the Series 2 stuff because ATS released newer OH League after we released the original Northern Lines with Chat Moss. So, really grateful to him. Since then as well, he's revamped the whole West Coast Main Lines actually on the route as well, so it, now he's actually, it's all correct, um, as it should be. It wasn't perfectly correct originally. He was just using bits and pieces of what was available in the game at the time. Mainly stuff from Goblin Line. It looked great, but it just wasn't correct. And that uses now the JT Common Library um, Mark III stuff. It looks great. So this is Lost Stock Hall Station. Um, nothing much to really look at. Back in the day, though, this um, area would have been a hive of activity, as uh, this is where the shed was located um, at Lost Stock Hall. Theme locos, and then some diesels resided here. So it was um, put out of use and knocked down. Not really much there now, it's just that base sort of foundation that's in there that we've put in. If anything, a bit more of a nod because I don't think there's actually really meant to be that there, but we put it there just as a nod. So just look at it, it's about 2.85 miles to Preston from Mostopol. Now, 142 featured quite heavily in a lot of the scenarios with the update, but it didn't actually have one for driving. That's hence why this scenario has been made. Because I thought, well, people like the 142, what a driver. And there was some, and they were still knocking about on the line to Blackpool North, so it made sense to create a little scenario. It didn't take long to make, to be fair. So we're going around the, the quite sharp curve, quite a long long continuous curve as well this is down drops down to Farrington Curve Junction basically it makes up with um, where the Oldskirt line comes in and then the West Coast Mail line for those of you that have played Blackpool branches on Trainton World obviously the Oldskirt line comes in from that this is the line that would curve off into the distance track was stripped back as well on this version so a lot of stuff that was never probably ever going to see a light of day has been taken up such as um, the line up to ba uh, Bolton and the line down uh, to Blackburn and beyond that was to be fair I just don't think it was ever going to happen so we just took it out it just made more sense it's a freight line there which we might catch up slightly. This is Farrington Curve Junction, and the next junction where it, it branches off again is Skewbridge Junction. So the original route sort of it went around. We did go up to Lost Hall, but it didn't really have all the scenery there. So it's now it's now been fully gone and fully usable. The line does extend a little bit further to where the M6 bridge crosses over as well. If, you want to, if you're doing services that are coming in without stopping at Bamber Bridge, you can set them off up there at rolling starts and works quite nicely. 
There's a few scenarios that do that. Uh, could be rude. Oh, there's a way they call this Union Viaduct. There used to be some signs in there which are Union sidings. The um, the bridge itself is one that comes now from uh, West Coast Mainline Missing Link. As do a number of assets around the Preston area um, come off that route. One main one has been Preston Station. But as I say, um, Jack managed to do some fancy script work and with thanks to them for allowing us to do so as well at ATS, they, they were happy for us to do that. So basically, um, what the script does, it, it removes the base platforms and then Jack's made some fresh platforms to fit our track. So when you, if you come into this scenario and make a scenario, um, in edit it, it look like there's platforms over the track. They're the old platforms. What happens is when you press play, that script kicks in and deletes the, the base, but it didn't delete them, it just hides them. Uh, it means that our platform face is, is seen, meaning that it all fits the track. It's all very fancy and uh, behind the scenes sort of stuff, but it works. And it gets me that horrible kick bash that has been set here for so long that um, I did many years ago. Now, some of the tracks have been relayed at Preston, um, not masses, but enough to break scenarios. So do be aware that if you come to play a scenario that has been released before the version 2, it won't work, most likely. Um, the track here used to curve and get kinked around, so it's been it's been straightened out, basically. Um, straightens out here. There used to be a kink coming in and out of them platforms. Um, I don't think any others were done, but it was these ones. Maybe a slight little bit around here. But, uh, yeah, it needed to be done. It was a mess. So anyone that's made a scenario previously that wishes to obviously want to make it work, it's not a hard fix. It's basically sometimes it might be a case of if there was a train and then platforms, you just need to drag them back into the track. It might be off the track a bit. Um, I had to do it myself with all the scenarios for the route. Where I had to literally go through them all, and put the trains back onto the track into the right place, and to ensure any like stopping markers that might have been in the scenarios were replaced and put back in. A little bit. I mean, it's, if you've only made one one or two scenarios for the route, it's not that bad. But if it went like we had like twenty odd scenarios, so I had to go through them all and fix them. It was that was time consuming. We had to test them all to make sure that they were working. So yeah, we we got there though. All cluttered up, correctly for the era. My favourite poster. Only because I feature in it. It looks like I'm driving the tram. <laughs> Twice. But no, my favourite. Do go and uh, support Blackpool trams. Kirkham and Wesham next. 7.77 7 miles. All the sevens. And plus, when you come out of here, you get that lovely screech of a pacer. What I will do is I will grab you the requirements for the route. 
it's all on the uh, website as well that you can obviously get all this information but so uh, just to give you the gist of what's what there's the requirements list actually has sort of it, it's gone a little bit shorter uh, not as much stuff as needed as per the previous route um one thing, for example, is North, uh, North Wales Coastal has been removed as a requirement. Riviera Line as well, that's another one. So there's a few bits and pieces that have gone. Although Riviera does still need... It, you still need it for four scenarios, uh, some static items that were used. Basically takes some dioramas, but that's listed in the manual for which ones they are. Uh, so... From the Alan Thompson simulation website, you need West Coast Mainline, Midlands and North West. Overhead wire um, pack, so the overhead live electrific uh, electrification pack. Marshall Powerhouse, you need the um, Norwich to Great Yarmouth and Lower Stoff route, version 2. However, volume 1 of that should also work. Um, four aspect simulations, this is actually off the, the on track simulation site now, but it is the Sinks Four Aspect signage pack, V1.2. Do ensure that that is as up to date as it needs to be because sometimes. It can cause issues if it's not. Uh, some stuff might be missing off uh, older versions. Um, and scripts might not be quite correct. So I'm just trains the common library, which is available for with some of the JT routes now. Uh, we do recommend that it's like using the up-to-date ones. So, it, it, for example, these routes, um, Midland Mainline, Southwest and Expressways to Reading and Wessex Mainline. Um, Midland Mainline will be up in the same category as Southwest Expressways and Wessex Mainline very very soon and why that's in there. Um, in the Steam Store you need the VR Class 142 Pacer DMU. That's needed for one specific scene of and I'll show you that in a bit when we get to Blackpool North. Um, it's not necessity, you don't have to have it if you don't want to, it's just you, you'll be missing something but you won't see a milk bottle but due to the way that the asset's been placed. Uh, but you will be missing quite a cool little scene which is actually true to real life as well. Um, East Coast Mainline, London to Peterborough, European Local Asset Pack, Liverpool to Manchester route, the London to Brighton route, North London Line and Goblin Lines route, South to Carlisle, South Western Main Line, which is Southampton to Bournemouth, West Coast Mainline South, London used to Birmingham, West Coast Trent Valley, West Coast Mainline over Shap, and the West High Line Extension. Some UK train sim for where packs are required. Uh, however, obviously, UK train sim is now not um, here with us anymore. That's uh, been shut down. However, um, these are available from Golden Age Developments. Um, the link is provided, but the ones you need is the, the blocks, loft, and bridges, clutter, commercial, foliage, housing, and industrial. If you're missing one or two things, don't be shy. Do try and have a look. You might, you might find that you might still be able to run the route. Um, the one big thing is the obviously missing like the ATS missing link route that you'd be missing Preston Station, which is quite a big gap. Oh, excuse me. You're in at nine o'clock in the morning. Shocking. I'm gonna shut that. I, I I just love the sound of wind. <laughs> Installation process for this is pretty simple. Um, you've got an install that comes in a zip file. Literally just open that and run it. Um, when you come to run a scenario, do have a look at the scenario supplement that comes with the installer. You can also uh, open that up through the website if you don't want to search in your manual folder for it. That just tells you per each scenario. Same as what we've done with Cumbrian Coast, how we got loop as well. Um, it just tells you what you need for each scenario um, in a, in a bite-size chunk at each one. Basically you have to reinstall like, all the requirements in one go. Just add what you need for when you need it. Just going to put some credits here as well. So um, first of all thanks to all the on-track simulation team, um, Callum Green for asset creation, Jack Ells testing, asset creation, scenery work and general background stuff. Joshua Bridge for testing and also Joshua Lake on that as well. Uh, Mark Walker was involved with track lane many uh, moons ago. Uh, but a big thanks to him, of course. Uh, without him, the track wouldn't be here. Um, you've also got uh, myself, track lane, scenery, and scenarios. Thanks to me. Hello. <laughs> uh, 
Um, special thanks go out to Alan Thompson Simulation for allowing us to script modify parts across the station to fit our track layout. Alexander Rosson for the actually work. Ash Clark for some scenario uh, work and voyage bin files. But they, they came from the first version of the route. Still thanks to him for that. Benedict Cooper for track swaps. Extra terrain paint files been added um, into the route library. Um, he did also allow us to use a couple of uh, assets of his as well uh, in there. So thanks for that. We've got DP simulation. He helped with various bits along the way in the past as well. Uh, Matthew Wilson for the creation of the 142 um, modification that we're going to show you shortly. White me for scenarios. Um, Tonkin Interactive for allowing us to use assets in our freeware project. And uh, William Stead for assets creation from the first version of the route uh, who worked on Kirkham Station. In the asset permissions we've been given permission to use um, the four aspect simulation OHLE models from the Fen line. DP simulation allowed us to bundle in the Root Builders Pack 01. Jad's Home allowed us to bundle in some fencing and signs and Nobkin's TPR asset pack. If you want to read the full manual uh, end to end, it comes with the route or it is available to uh, just look at on our website before you download. Uh, gives you a chance to decide if you want to download it or not. And we are very nearly at Kirkham, so on the way past we'll have gone through Solwick as well. I think Solwick's just not the same anymore without his sick box. To be fair, most of the route's just not the same without the boxes. Big shame. Progress though. At the end of the day. As you see, the, one of the big changes in this section of route is the Series 2, which uses the newer models that were made for the Chat Mostra. Um So much better than the original ones. We've actually got some depth to them now, they're not like dead thin sticks. Track layout change at Kirkham when the OHLE work was redone. Um, I'll be adding an extra platform for Kirkham Station and remove the fast and uh, fast lines. It's from here on really where the whole track layout massively looks like totally different. The new platform on the right is platform 3, which was added in. Fast lines used to run around the right hand side. They used to come around the back of here, the fast lines are sort of curved around, but everything's all sort of like slewed over to make a, a faster curve around the, uh, the area. That's really is Portland Files, another six miles. These are the, these two are the longest distance of stations, and it's later than Blackpool are literally like next door to each other. Not that far. 
this junction here is where the Blackpool South line will go off. There's a little bit of scenery on the section to Moss Side, but that's as far as it goes, and there probably won't be any scenery down Blackpool South ever on this route because just for the sheer amount of stuff that needs to be made for it. If you want that experience, I would recommend that you head uh, head into TSW and play the Blackpool branches. That route is basically the vision of what I would like this route to have been many years ago, but uh, at least there is uh, Blackpool South to play on that route. And Ormskirk as well. So, like, that is sort of the original Northern Lines sort of like thoughts and plans of what I always wanted to do. So we, we, at least we got it in TSW. In a good era as well. We're just passing the area now of where the flyover used to go over. It would have gone then to Blackpool Central. And then once that was ripped up, it was uh, a tip sidings. Uh, there was Kirk and Brad Kirk tip. Again, that feature in the Blackpool branches on TSW, you can actually drive. There is services that actually go to the tip and you, you do a bit of shunting and stuff in there as well. Quite well, a big complex. It was quite small, really. It used to run where this mud path is and then it used to go on the bridge and there was some sidings just behind the track on the main line. But just somewhere around here, it was in this area where the um, side where used to go run around, head shunt, and then used to go back through there. But the original Blackpool Central line used to sort of, uh, where was it? So it went under here, straight down there, and it would join up with the M5, which is just up ahead. And it followed that track line, and then all the way through to Blackpool. These days, um, M55 in Yeadon Way. What's on that track, bud? This bridge was one of the ones that was redone for this route. It was basically a kit basher out of texture blocks and some bridge sides that come from the on track simulation comma library. Um, basically to save a custom asset ever been made. It uh, does the job nicely. Church to blocks are fantastic though, you can, you can really do some cool stuff with them. Um, another one that's been redone with Church blocks is the Devonshire Road Bridge just outside of Blackpool North Station. Uh, that was the very first bridge that I ever laid in the route and it was an absolute shambles. So I spent a full evening about a year ago, uh, redoing it all out of uh, texture blocks. It's pages to do, but we got there. It looks better for it. A heck of a lot better for it. Know the singleton banks at the moment. So Wheaton and then it goes to Singleton, but uh, Singleton uh, is sort of around here where the signal box was once standing, which is just somewhere in this tree line up here. We've got crossover in the box. So where the pad is here, this little rough bit, that is where the box were. Um, until it was knocked down. I think it was knocked down sort of around the 2000s. Late 90s, early 2000s, I believe.
it was just over a mile to Poulton. Um, come around this bend, then we have to, we'll have to start slowing down for the 50. Well, they'll be up the speeds when they uh, over wired up the, the route and stuff. Um, they managed to straighten, well, not straighten that, but they managed to make the curves a bit more gradual, meaning we can get higher speeds. It used to be 20 coming uh, through Poulton and out of it, it's now 35. Holton's uh, station used to sort of end somewhere around about here. It used to be quite a long platform. And they took it back um, in the two, uh, somewhere in the 2000s, uh, maybe about 2010 or so. But there was also talks of extending it again, um, but nothing's ever come of that. Um, I think to basically it could have been to accommodate a potential stopping of uh, Pendolinos here, but again, nothing's ever come of that, so I'm, whether that was gossip, uh, gospel, that's sort of gossip, isn't it? But, yeah, nothing ever came of that. I don't see it to be fair, I just can't see it happening. There's also the site of where the um, Bernays burn from quite off, but again, severed because Oh, actually, needs to be put in. Signal box was once uh, stood here that went as well, which is a shame, really, because they could have kept that. It's not even in the way of any wiring. But they decided they had to be gone. So it went. Now, there is potential, um, there is talks and hopes and plans that we may be able to port this scenery into the old Northern Lines uh, route, which would be quite nice because it brings them both in line uh, and brings them up to newer standards. This is one of the routes that's always moved with the time, it's been redone that many times. Uh, it would be nice to see the old one brought up to this sort of standard as well, and obviously the same standard put into the Bernays bit. So there is hope that we can maybe do that um, not sure when we'll do it but um, it, need, it, need, it needs looking at first to see how much work is needed how easy it is to add it in and what things doing after because obviously Blackpool and Kirk will probably need to re reworking again once that's been done because of um, the track layouts unless we do it in such a way where we can leave the, the towers as they are and just revamp the individual bits around them areas. There was one other hope that might be able to uh, be done is uh, we've got the source files of the Kirkham station, we can potentially um, knock out one of the platforms and basically backdate the platform. But at the moment, not too sure. We shall have to see. Having a moment while it's loading. There we go. Oh, just approaching Leighton. Home stretch, really. We're very nearly uh, at Blackpool. Well, while you've obviously been sat, if you're still with us, um, you've been sat there watching. Nope, you, you sort of get the same sort of feeling as we do now. It, it really does feel like a brand new route when you're driving around. 
you'll see it on like my streams and also Jack's streams. So Jack started streaming it as well, the root building uh, near the end. Just how much work has been put into like revamping areas, like a lot. Some areas like were like ripped up and redone. Mainly all the track side stuff was all ripped up and restarted. Like so, all new banks were placed and modelled in, and all new fencing and all new folds. It was a fair, it's a fair job to do. I mean, this project's been ongoing for about two years from when it started. It probably would have finished earlier if I hadn't have been doing Blackpool branches in TSW. I had to stop doing the um, the Northern Lines update because I was doing the same job in the daytime and then doing it in the evening, and it was just far too much to, to keep doing. So I had to stop. I'm just lucky that Jack, Jack came in and, and he said he would like to continue and get it done. So we, thank you to him, really, because otherwise we were still sat halfway through waiting to be finished. <laughs> When he finished his Wessex route, he sort of he, he jumped in onto it and soon had it finished. literally just come to Devonshire Road which is this is the other bridge that I was mentioning before um we've had a big kit bash so might be a slight little Z fight on there but yeah this was all kit bashed out of texture blocks and bits and pieces which uh, it just looks so much better I'm just going to show you as well, just do with the pacer. Not that pacer, but that pacer. <laughs> so that's why you need the DTG uh, pacer. It's been turned into a static model that you can place on the wall, and it's actually true to real life. That is actually there. Um, I believe that one of the, uh, the the engineers that works at the depot owns the nose and did, basically did it up and put it there, and all its glory. But if you go inside, it's actually the full shell. It's just been placed uh, tactically so you can not see the cabs. But um, if you don't have it, don't worry, because the milk bottle will be inside here, so it's not going to ruin anything for you. You just won't have it. It's not a problem. Just uh, a cool little thing to have. We're going to platform five. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and if you've already downloaded the route already. Thank you very much, and I hope you're enjoying it. Um, seeing loads of pictures and screenshots on Discords and Facebook groups already so it's nice to see and i think there's always some people actually putting scenarios together so hopefully there'll be some new ones uh, for you to play very soon which would be nice so i'll be playing them as well but yeah thank you for watching everything's in the description to so all the links to the scenario the whole route itself is in the description go and take a look um and download and have a play um but yeah thank you and the doors open don't forget like share subscribe Fans on Twitch at twitch.tv, forward slash underscore TV, and streams are on a Friday and Sunday. But on that note, thank you for watching, take care, and we'll see you again very soon for another video. Bye for now.